Who cool, man? It's your partner, man. Who he on talking about? It's your partner, man. Who he on talking about? It's your partner, man. Who he on talking about? What's good with the people, man? How is y'all doing on this same status Saturday? You say same status Saturday? What you talking about, bro? All right, we gonna get into it. But before we do that, what's good, people? Like he, he, ha, ha, he on talking about. Ken in the pen, man. All my folks incarcerated. All my folks who ain't, bro. Everybody on the bottom of that thing. Everybody on top of that thing, man. Keep that head up. Keep pushing. We gonna get through it to get to it, man. You know what I'm talking about? Did I say can in the pen, man? I don't know, but if I didn't go get that stick up in stores now, you go get you something off 76 MacArthur Giants. Look, is what I'm talking about. 82nd Hillside Barbershop. They say somebody put them in their stores in the hundreds. Thank you, young man. Now you know, you know what I'm talking about? Because I tell you every morning, but just in case you don't like me or you don't mess with me, you can still come get them from me. You know what I'm talking about? You can still come get them from me. No discrimination, bro. Way. No discrimination, bro. Way. No discrimination, bro. Way. Sprinkler system on you, yeah. sprinkler system on you, you know what I'm talking about, man, also in stores, uh, Funk or Die Trying, you know what I'm talking about, make sure you go get you one, but if all else fails, and I mean if all else fails, you know what I'm talking about, make sure you go to Amazon, cop you a hardback, you know what I'm talking about, uh-oh, what's that, swing that finger, you know what I mean, worldwide I and see, what you say, bruh, worldwide incorporated, and what you say, bruh, oh, worldwide, they gonna say, bruh, what does that mean? I'm going to say, hey, you know what I'm talking about? It means everybody. You say, what, bro? I say, hey, you know what I'm talking about? It means everybody, bro. You know what I'm talking about? And Dugu, Mike, Cutthroat, Lil Rue, not Lil Rue, Lil Rue. You know what I'm talking about? Tata the player. That's who comes next. Same thing, bro. Everybody on the bottom of that thing. Everybody on top of that thing. Keep that head up. You know what I'm talking about? Keep pushing. We're going to get through it to get to it, man. You know what I'm talking about? Let's get through these uh, disclaimers. But before we do that, my mama said, my mama always said, boy, breast and whiskers when you're on TV. You know what I'm talking about? Coffee Chronicles coming right up. It's in the uh, microwave. You know what I'm talking about? Pipe and I die. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man. Now, a good brother like myself, man. I don't promote no drug uses. Mm -mm. I don't promote no drug sellage. Mm -mm. I don't promote no alcohol consumption. Mm -mm. You know what I'm talking about? Don't take a sip of the sippage. You know what I'm talking about? Don't do it. Good brother like myself. You know what I'm talking about, man? I don't promote no crime. Mm -mm. You know what I'm talking about? Good brother like myself. I don't promote no uh violence. Mm -mm. You know what I'm talking about? I don't promote no domestic violence. Mm -mm, he don't talk about keep your hands off the people. People, he don't talk about. Uh, he don't talk about. Don't. He don't talk about promote. He don't talk about no negativity. He don't talk about no, no, no. He don't talk about no, man. Me, man. I don't promote shit. He don't talk about they was talking to me, bro. I don't promote shit. He don't talk about me, man. All I promote. Y'all go ahead and do what you're gonna do with your time, young ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you find the right thing to do with your time, young ladies and gentlemen, because we just don't know how much of it we got, man. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? But it get like myself, man. I ain't prejudiced. No, nah, man. It get better like myself. I ain't got nothing against the sexually different. No, you know what I'm talking about? It get better like myself. I ain't got nothing against the little people, man. No, nah, man. Me, man, I ain't got nothing against nobody. You know what I'm talking about? They was talking to me. Man, I just love me some everybody. You know what I'm talking about? As a matter of fact, I'm on a quest. You know what I'm talking about? Bring that peace. You know what I'm talking about? That joy. You know what I'm talking about? That love. You know what I'm talking about? That love. Back to YouTube community, man. You with me? Come on over here. Hey, man, check it out. Psst, 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 psst. Come fuck with a nigga one time. You know what I'm talking about? Man, y'all hold on. I'm finna go put some warmth on that thing. Oh, yeah, I'm back, man, with that uh Coffee Chronicles. You know what I'm talking about? Man, what's good with the people, man? How is y'all doing on this uh, same status Saturday? Say, bro, what you talking about? Oh, we gonna get into it. Uh, shout out to everybody who can hear but don't listen. Huh? <laughs> uh, I see you, man. Fuck it. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man. Say, bro, what you talking about today, man? I'm gonna tell you what caused this one here today, man. I was talking to a kid. And, um... Uh, I told them motherfuckers to do something, bro. And you, you can't believe that this motherfucker said he didn't want to. You, you just can't believe that right there. You can't believe a kid told a grown-up what they didn't want to do. And that's how we get to the same status, man. And I looked at that shit. I had to check myself and realize I'm in uh, I'm inside uh, the world of Bizarro. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I had to remember I'm in the world of uh, Bizarro, man. And if you don't know what the world of Bizarro is, that's what you niggas done turned it into. Go look up Superman and type in world of Bizarro, nigga. Yeah, it used to be Superman. It, it was the other Superman with the square face and shit. He wasn't, uh, it, I don't know, it was, it was the other kryptonite. 
he wouldn't bother by the green kryptonite. You had to go get some yellow kryptonite for him or something. You know what I'm talking about? That's how he always used to get to Superman. But uh, when you got to the world of Bizarro, everything was backwards. And that's what you niggas have turned the world into. Same uh, status. Saturday. You say, bro, how do you get all there from having a uh, conversation with a kid? Because I realized, bro, that, uh, and I keep telling y'all this. I told y'all, y'all not even going to understand it until the kids around here talking like Stephen A. Smith. Like, what, mom? You know what I'm talking about and all that? Preposterous and all that old shit right there, right? Y'all ain't going to get it until then. That's when y'all going to say something wrong with it. But I told y'all, it's just the same level of disrespect is running around here right now, bro, that you going to find when they start doing shit that you don't like. When you start seeing that shit is disrespectful, the same amount of disrespect is running around here right now, bro. The same amount of all that confusion and shit. Same status. So basically, they got everybody on the same status. You know what I'm talking about? They got the niggas on the status with the bitches. The nigga done turned himself into a hoe. They got the kids on the status with the grown-ups. So now, like, when you're young, bro, you, it's like, it's like now, uh, because everybody just has the ability. There's no accountability. There is no accountability. So everybody just has the ability to do what they want to. You know what I'm talking about? So a kid could tell you, fuck you. And somebody going to say, you got to understand the kid. You got to see where he's coming from. and let No, no, you don't, bro. Now you can let them brainwash you with that shit if you want to. You know what I'm talking about? Same status uh, Saturday it is. But that's what we, that, that's what we in the, uh, yeah, that's what we, that's, that's what's on the line up for us in the world, bro. It's that shit right there. You know what I'm talking about? Especially the kids, bro, because the kids are so lost. The kids actually put their motherfucking friends and shit on a fucking on the same status as they family you get what i'm saying so they don't really want to hear what their parents and shit is saying because they around their friends and shit and whatever their friends say means more than what they motherfucking parents say same status saturday it is if you get what i'm saying you know what i'm talking about because you got motherfuckers who act like they hate their family members you get what i'm saying but you can get along with your motherfucking friends Don't make no sense. And I've been saying that shit since I was little. You'll get into it with your mom or your sister or somebody, man. You'll hold a grudge against them. You get what I'm saying? Your friend could steal something from you. Fuck your, uh, you know what I'm talking about? Fuck y'all spouses and all kind of shit. Somehow y'all make back up with them. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you're going to hold a grudge against your family members forever, but you're you, uh, you going to have understanding for your friends. You get what I'm saying? And all that old same status. Saturday it is, and all that old goofy ass shit. But what I realized is, that's why they turned it into that shit. They turned it into the same status on this earth, so you ain't never got to be accountable. Basically, you can do whatever you feel like, even if you're a kid. You know what I'm talking about? Even if you're a kid, you could go, you could go do whatever you feel like, because you feel like you have the right to, to do whatever you feel like. Because that's all we're going to get to in the end, bro. Is everybody just doing what they want to do. That shit cool now, I guess. Because everybody doing the shit y'all want to do. Watch when that shit come around that y'all don't want to do. That's when y'all going to start seeing this fake and disrespectful. And all this confusion for nothing and all that shit. That's when you're going to understand it. But you ain't until then. Same status, Saturday. And this computer shit didn't help. It didn't. Because it fucked your mind up. Because it damn near it'll put you on the same status as you you think it puts you on the same status as these people you deem popular. See, because before, oh, you didn't have no way to get to Lil Wayne, Jay Z, and them. You know what I'm talking about? All the popular people, Kanye West, Kim Kardashian. You didn't have no way to get to them. You get what I'm saying? You had to read that shit in the National Enquirer. Now they didn't give you a device to make you feel like you can just go pull up on the celebrities anytime you want to. Coffee Chronicles. You can go pull up to somebody's page, man, and go get all in their business if you want to. Coffee Chronicles. Same status Saturday. Because they got everybody with the same mindset like they on the same status. Like the shit you're seeing right now. I told you, you got broke motherfuckers teasing the billionaire. You know what I'm talking about? You got a motherfucker who ain't never uh, even had $3,000 in their life before. You get what I'm saying? And you got these motherfuckers talking about what they would have did 
if they had a billion dollars or a million dollars or all these thousands. You got motherfuckers who ain't never even seen 3,000 telling you what they'll do with uh, billions. Nigga, you don't even know what you'll do with 3,000. You get what I'm saying, bro? Same status Saturday, bro. So it just, it, it made everybody, uh, I ain't gonna say it made everybody opinion matter, but lightweight it did, bro. You get what I'm saying? So now we just in a big ass pot of anybody opinions. You know what I'm talking about? They could just give you their opinion now, even the kids. Everybody in the same room. It ain't no more barriers now. You know what I'm talking about? It ain't no more kids place. You get what I'm talking about? It ain't no more grown up. You get what I'm saying? All that shit in the same pot. All that shit mean the same shit. Same status Saturday. Because we living on the motherfucking earth where motherfuckers think uh, age is defined by your age. The numbers. You get what I'm saying? Just like them kids. So the older a kid get, he feel like the older... They are. You get what I'm saying? So a kid could be nine years old. And they feel like, you know what I'm talking about? They're grown. And their conversation says the same thing. You get what I'm saying? We just, I, I don't know how to do that, bro. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know how to sit there and talk to kids and ask kids. I don't know how to do that shit, bro. I don't. I don't, I don't know how to do this, bro. When I was growing up, you didn't have no choice. You get what I'm saying, bro? Yo, when I was growing up, you you just didn't argue with grown-ups. Not saying all the grown-ups was uh, right. A grown-up might tell you some bullshit. You wasn't going to do it, bro, but you still didn't disrespect the grown-up. You get what I'm saying? Even if you didn't want to hear that shit, you still didn't disrespect the grown-up. You get what I'm saying? But now we living in a world where you could just do what you want to do. You get what I'm saying? Same status Saturday. So now you ain't got to listen to nobody. He you know what I'm talking about? Who is somebody to tell you anything? Coffee Chronicles. And I'm telling you, all that shit is just a cop out to do the fake ass shit you want to do. You know what I'm talking about? That's just like right now, if, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, nigga, you wanted to buy a car. And you went around and people telling you you don't even know how to drive, you ain't got no license, a car is not a good thing for you right now because you're not responsible enough for a car. Do you know as a kid, you wouldn't hear that shit. Now we got these phones, so you'll go search the conversation where somebody telling you don't listen to nobody, do your own thing. You'll go find that video and somehow make it towards your situation. Coffee Chronicles. That's why people run around and ask people questions, I told you. It's because in their mind, they already got some fake shit they've been contemplating. So they go around, they ask questions to see how many uh, motherfuckers going to agree with that fake ass shit they got going on. Same status, Saturday it is. You get what I'm saying? And somehow that's going to make them more confident about the fake ass shit they was contemplating to do. But yeah, man, they just got everybody in the same ball. Don't nothing mean nothing no more, bro. It don't. You got the kids, they, like everybody in the same conversation. It's the same status. Like everybody is the same person. There is no more barrier. Uh, there is no more barriers. There is no more boundaries. Nothing. Area is just a free for all. Everybody fit in. You get what I'm saying? Now you got little ass kids in the room with the grown people conversation, and you got the grown people in the room with the little kids conversation. If you get what I'm talking about. Same status. Cause we living in the world, just on some real shit. You want to do what the fuck you want to do. That's cool. I'll be Chronicles. Now, just watch when that shit spread around and, that, and, and doing just what you want to do, get to the wrong people. Coffee Chronicles. Then you're going to start complaining about it. Yo, know, motherfuckers, because they already doing it. Motherfuckers getting around here, just stealing and privileging and just get to doing all this old other weird shit. That's when it's going to get on your radar. The weird shit ain't on your radar right now because you're a part of the weird shit. But watch when that other shit come along. Then it ain't going to be cool. Yeah, then it ain't going to be cool. But we just going into a world of no accountability, bro. Same status. I'm telling you, man, I asked the kid, it was just some small shit. And just the smart mouthness of the smart mouthness of the kid. And I'm just sitting there, I had to check myself, man. I just had to realize I'm inside they world. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm inside they world. And I'm telling you, y'all, uh, us, the world, we finna raise some dumb, no accountability. 
naive, no accountability, having ass. Uh, that's what the future coming up to be, bro. No accountability, cry baby ass niggas. Uh, just the way of the world, nigga. We could cry about everything and it don't happen for us. Yeah, that's what we headed to. Because everybody has a voice now. We live in that world. Where you both just sit here and try to understand motherfuckers and there ain't none that shit in the world, bro. And you can just, no, nah, that ain't how I, nah, that ain't how I run it. Because I ain't going to tell you nothing wrong. You know what I'm talking about? But that ain't how I'm finna run it. You, you, you don't get a chance as a kid to tell me what the fuck. Now, I, I hear you out. But you don't get a chance to tell me what to do. You don't get the chance to tell me what you not going to do. No, you don't. No, you don't. Y'all come from that realm where you're going to do what the fuck I told you. You know what I'm talking about? That's the realm I come from. You talking about grown people and kids. It ain't no sitting around and negotiating with no motherfucking kids and say, oh, come on, man. Listen, bro, I done told you. You make me ask you again if you want to. You know what I'm talking about? Do it. And you can say what you want to about the baby cuz. But around the baby cuz realm, there's going to be some discipline around this motherfucker, bro. There's going to be some respect around this motherfucker. It ain't going to be you sitting here thinking you grown. Because all the motherfuckers who think they grown as a little kid, bro. Y'all uh, don't do nothing but put a bunch of grown people situations on yourself. That's all you do. You running around trying to be grown. And you end up as a kid with a bunch of grown people responsibilities. Coffee Chronicles. Then all of a sudden, you don't want to be a grown-up no more. You still want to live your life and kicking it as a kid. You know what I'm talking about? Because you just living your life doing what you want to do, doing what you want to do. And that's what y'all don't get. You get what you ask for. You do. You get exactly what the fuck you ask for. See, because I'm going to tell you something else about you motherfuckers is always trying to get revenge or trying to show people something that I'm going to get you. While y'all doing all that, that's why God, Earth, this thing we call Earth, that's why I be tearing your ass up. But you don't never even get it. All that revenge and shit you do trying to get your lick back same status type shit. God over there tearing your ass up. Your karma, the universe over there tearing your ass up. That's why in your life right now it seems like nothing ever goes right. If you wanted to know why, look in the mirror. Yeah, if you want to know why, look in the mirror. Yeah, just look in the mirror. Same status Saturday. But that's what started this one, man. Because I uh I asked the kid something to do something, man. And the kid told me they didn't want to do it, bro. I couldn't believe that shit. Yeah, I couldn't believe that shit. That one right there threw my whole will alignment off. And I just realized the kind of world we coming up in. We coming up in that kind of world. So just imagine these next motherfuckers that's going to grow up, bro. <clears throat> they finna be all over the place, folks. Because this the, the, the generation that's coming up right now, them motherfuckers, them, them, them soft motherfuckers, bruh. That's them crybaby motherfuckers, bruh. That's the motherfuckers right there that think, uh, uh, like the world revolves around them. That's them motherfuckers that think you're supposed to stop your world to come help them. That's them motherfuckers right there. Oh, they coming up next. And watch how this world get when them motherfuckers get grown. Because you motherfuckers don't got a lick of sense. You don't. All you motherfuckers know is what you want to do. Y'all want to live in a world of no consequences, where no one tells you no, where nobody tells you you can't do something. Same status, because we living in the world now where can't nobody tell you to do shit, because you can do what the fuck you want to do. Coffee Chronicles. You know what I'm talking about? And everybody I know like that, guess what happens to them? They do all that shit they want to do. Then sit there and complain about the decisions they made. Coffee Chronicles. Everybody I know who do that shit. In real life. And I come to you like this, bro, because I used to be that motherfucker. Motherfucker, you tell me, man, take your ass to jail. Don't call me. You know what I'm talking about? And you be thinking them motherfuckers be playing. <clears throat> kind of like how Biggie Mama did him. That nigga, at least his mama picked up the phone, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> nigga, when motherfucker told me, don't call him, bro. They was through with that shit. People didn't answer their phone. Because we don't be listening. 
Because we be playing the game out here on this thing called Earth. Like, because we putting our head all, they just talking that shit, bruh. And then when the people don't answer their phone, here we go putting another label on them, talking about how fake they is. When we don't be listening. Them people told you, out they mouth, looked you right in your face and said, you go to jail again, don't call my phone. And somehow, I took that as them people was playing. You get what I'm saying? So when I get to jail and I get to call them, them people didn't pick up the free phone call. Coffee Chronicles. Them people were standing on business. And we don't get that. We don't get none of the warnings. We don't get none of the advice. You know what I'm talking about? Because we living in the world, especially the kids. Uh, we don't even listen to our parents no more. We listen to Rihanna and them. You get what I'm saying? We listening to Beyonce and them. We listening to the city girls and them. You know what I'm talking about? We just hearing Meg the Stallion and them. You get what I'm saying? <clears throat> uh, Lil Dark and them. NBA Young Boy and them. Lil Boosie and them. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's who we listening to. All them niggas from O Block. You know what I'm talking about? Shout out them people. But that's what we listening to now. We, we, we don't even listen to common sense. We listen to all that roof rough uh, confusion and all that shit. That's what we listen to. So while we listening to that, and the people telling you in the real world, man, you, you ain't listening to none of that shit. But guess what happened? When you ran into that shit, listening to the motherfuckers, you don't go, you don't go get to call Rihanna and uh, Lil Durk, NBA young boy, Beyonce, Ashanti, and them. When you come across the motherfucking problem, no, see the motherfuckers you got around you in real world. Them the ones that got to help you get out that shit that you can listen to all these other motherfuckers tell you. Coffee Chronicles. Yeah, you know, when you run across your problem. Uh, I mean, that shit might sound good, but the only thing about that, when you run across your problem, that motherfucker who told you that shit ain't gonna help you. Coffee Chronicles. No, they ain't gonna help you. You get the fucking around right now and get evicted, you know what I'm talking about? When you heard uh, NBA Youngboy and them say, run wild, man, run around with this 30 stick and all that. See, when you get kicked out, they, they ain't gonna give you a place to stay. See, all that uh, switch you was running around and all that shit, when you get caught with that motherfucker and get indicted by the feds, man, they ain't going to help you on your bill, your lawyer and shit, bro. They not. And you're going to leave that responsibility on them, all them people you wouldn't listening to. That's who help you're going to need. Because them imaginary people where you sucked up all that badass gang from, when you get in trouble from all that badass gang... You ain't going to be able to call them for the help. You see that badass gang, them people over there having money, you know what I'm talking about, for right now to over, uh, maybe overcome some of their bad game. You get what I'm saying? They got enough money right now, you know what I'm talking about, to overcome their bad game. You damn near ain't got no money to, uh, you know what I'm talking about, overcome some good game, you know what I'm talking about, let alone some bad one. But when you get hicked up and you get all uh, wrapped up in whatever situation, the bad part about that is the uh, Lil Dirk, the Rihanna's of the world, you know what I'm talking about, Lil Wayne's of the world, the city girls of the world. They not going to help you. They not. You're going to have to call all them people that you was acting like you had a problem with and you didn't like that much. Them the ones who going to have to come help you. You know what I'm talking about? It's like you running around here wanting the funk and shit because you let these niggas get, get you juiced. You over there listening to all that mozzie and that CML and shit, and you just ready, oh, you, you, you ready to, you, you running around with it, ain't you? You get caught up, you fuck around, not even go to jail, bro, now fuck around and get shot. Now, you can't go use uh, gangland and them to rock with you. You can't go use banked up and them to rock with you. Whatever problem you got yourself in, you're going to have to handle that, bro. You can't use these other people's gangs, them, you know what I'm talking about? They're not going to loan you their they gang for your phone. You get what I'm saying? Y'all better start, uh, I can't tell you what you better start doing, bro. You either gonna know or you're not. See how far you get with it. Y'all see how far you get with it. Same status Saturday. We we, we coming from a, a, a place, an imaginary place at that. But y'all turning the imaginary place into a real, uh, to the real world. You get what I'm saying? So you come with all this, uh, like, everybody just on it, like I said, bruh, niggas is on the same level as a bitch. The kids is on the same level as the grown-ups. The grown-ups is on the same level as the kids, bruh. Same status Saturday, folks. Everybody just now, you you three years old, and you can make whatever decision you want to make. You know what I'm talking about? You, at three years old, you could decide you want to have a, now check this one out. You can go get you a sex operation. 
but you can't, you, you, you like, if you five years old, you can go get a sex operation, but you can't go get a BBL. No, if, if you nine years old and decide you wanted some uh, bigger breasts, you can't go get that operation. But if you wanted a sex change operation, that's the one you can go get. Coffee Chronicles. Same status Saturday, folks. I don't know what to do, folks. I don't know. I can say pass out better game. Be better examples. You know what I'm talking about? That's all. I, I don't know how to do that, man. You know what I'm talking about? Because I understand the other side, too, man. You know what I'm talking about? I did the best for y'all, man. I stopped drinking. You know what I'm talking about? That's my contribution to the game. You know what I'm talking about? That's my motherfucking... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what you call that shit? That's my example to the game right there, man. I stopped drinking. You know what I'm talking about? Hopefully that uh, help somebody stop drinking. I can't participate. You know what I'm talking about? Because I'm just me. I'm just me. And I'm a rock like I'm rock. So I might not be the best example for you. <clears throat> you know what I'm talking about? I might not. I can just say, man, check this out. I stopped drinking, man. I, you know what I'm talking about? I did something good for the game, man. And I ain't come up here and tell you how to uh, fuck up. You know what I'm talking about? My contribution to the game, folks. But same status. This shit just going to get worse, folks. It's going to come to a point where you're not even going to believe it, folks. Because it's just all over the place right now. You just participating in all the... Uh, you participating in all the fuckery so you can't really see it. The world just normal to you because you participating with that shit. Watch when that shit get above your uh, fuckery level. Coffee Chronicles. Wait till it become cool to put kids in the chokehold and shit. Wait till it be cool to run around this motherfucker and, uh, and punch women in the face for nothing. I don't promote no domestic violence. Watch when that shit become cool. Then watch how you, you your eye catch that shit right there. That's the same amount of fuck shit going on right now. I bullshit you not. Same status Saturday. This shit all over the place, folks. And it's a shame, folks, where the bitches is on the same status as niggas. The niggas is on the same status as bitches. The kids is on the same status as grown-ups. The grown-ups is on the same status as kids, bruh. Now, you tell me how we, how the fuck we even get to the world of Bizarro. And y'all tell me attention ain't the worst drug that they came around this motherfucker. Coffee Chronicles. <sighs> the same side of Saturday, folks. And if we don't put the boundaries and the barriers back, bruh, the world is just gonna turn to one big ass ball of disrespect. It's just gonna, bruh, this motherfucker gonna turn. And to the movies you used to watch. They coming out with a new one. The Mad Max movie for Rosas or whatever the fuck it is, bro. Like my flow. You know what I'm talking about? They uh coming out with that one right there, bro. The world gonna get to that. We're just a strong survive, nigga. So if you just stronger than anybody, bro, you could just go do whatever you want to, bro. It's finna be like that on some real shit, nigga. Coffee Chronicles. It's going to be just like that movie, The Miss. If you ever seen that, remember the church bitch got power and powerful by the day. Just got to spewing out all kind of bullshit because they seen the uh, mosquito fly in front of that bitch face and not stinger. So they thought that the, uh, she was the person from God. And the more all oh, night by night, that bitch just had more people. Oh, they got the gun in. They was real powerful, wasn't they? Oh, they was real powerful then, bruh. Misleading the people. I don't know who bruh is, but I'm subscribed to him. His name is Derek something. That man be coming with the quotes of all quotes, bruh. He do. He'll, be, he'll put one up there every day, too, man. The difference between them people hollering at church shit and just God, man. I forgot what that man said this morning, man. But he uh, he told y'all ass up. He told y'all ass up. He said something like the uh, like the voice, uh, the voice of God will never uh, contradict the word of God. Or some shit like that. You know what I'm talking about? But he be putting some uh, shit up there. To, to, to make your mind think every day, man. Shout out to that brother, whoever he is. You know what I'm talking about? I'm sorry, I can't remember his name right, but the first one is Derek something. 
He be putting quotes up there, man. He be tearing their ass up. But on some real shit, same status, folks. We just creating a world where this motherfucker finna be all over the place, bruh. And you don't see it right now. You don't. Because they done told you what's cool and what's not cool. And I'm finna get up out of here. And before I get up out of here on same status Saturday, man, I want to go over something with y'all, man, because... I could rap myself. I gonna say, bro, how you get back on your flow? Because I've been uh, paying attention to the music scene this day, right? Because they keep, for some reason, somebody that told y'all Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, Big Sean, and Drake, them is just the best people in the game. You know what I'm talking about? I cook all them niggas in that order. You know what I'm talking about? And backwards. We can go back and forth with it. You know what I'm talking about? On some real shit. But I've been listening to these diss tracks. And all that shit garbage, bro. The one Kendrick Lamar came with, I don't know why, they just told you that, like, that was so hard, and I keep seeing all these people listening to it like that, it would, that shit wasn't tight like that, folks, it wouldn't, but I guess just because this nigga said it, y'all made that shit seem like, nigga, that, the, uh, that shit, the nigga who was going against, uh, LL Cool J was harder than that shit, folks, what was that nigga named Casual or something like that, that nigga did something, was harder than all three of the, that shit them niggas put together, bro. I ain't, I'm listening to all that shit, really waiting to hear something like, I mean, it got some cool little bars in between, bruh, but all three of them niggas shit was weak. J. Cole, all that shit, them old funny ass beats and that old, I think y'all think just because a nigga be rhyming hella syllables back to back or something, he must be fluent. Like back in the day, if you could rap hella fast, that automatically, uh, that automatically meant you was going. Bruh, that shit was weak. All three of them motherfuckers I didn't heard was weak, bruh. I got about... A whole catalog that's better than that shit right there. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I ain't bullshitting with you, bro. And I ain't just trying to big up myself. You know what I'm talking about? Even though I'm a big up myself. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? On some real shit. But uh, all that shit was weak, bro. But they got the whole world running around here like them the hardest diss tracks in the world. You know what I'm talking about? They just do. And all that shit was, I ain't going to say it was garbage, but man, with none of that shit, no high octane. None of that shit, bro. You feel me? I heard a nigga throw his hat in the ring, dissing all them niggas whose shit was harder than that. And this shit wasn't that hard. <laughs> you get what I'm saying, bro? Like, you niggas will just go with anything they tell you. You get what I'm saying? You'll just go with anything they tell you. You would, bro. And that's just how they got the world. We finna be on the same status, bro. But I just see niggas in the, uh, when you talk about this music shit, and I'm a nigga that make that high, uh, I'm not make, I make high octane music, and I got high octane flow you get what i'm saying and i'm one of them niggas bruh and i'll be going over that shit if you hard you hard bruh even if i don't like you and you hard nigga you hard bruh can't nobody take that away from you if you got a hard verse can't nobody take that away from you you get what i'm saying but uh with none of that shit hard like that bruh none of that shit it wasn't but they got the whole world acting like, nigga, them the, uh, I done made two songs down there in the last two weeks that eat all that shit up, both of them, you know what I'm talking about? And, uh, they got the whole world just acting like, because you just been caught on, ooh, did you hear? And they act like them is three of the best diss tracks in the last 10 years or something, bruh. And that shit ain't nowhere near even entertaining to me, but I can rap, so it might be entertaining to you if you can't rap. But all that shit, to me, was garbage, bro. I ain't gonna bullshit to you. But you got the world, because this is how they put it out there. Them, them niggas is battling. I guess they supposed to be some of the best lyricists in the game or something. And they got you just inside the song, like, ooh, ooh. And you ain't even paying attention to that shit is garbage. You know what I'm talking about? But I guess just because Kendrick or J. Cole or Big Sean or Drake, as soon as they reply, it gots to be fired, bro. I ain't heard nobody really say nothing yet, bro. I say that shit is a tie. All you niggas lost. You know what I'm talking about? It sounds like it'll take all you niggas, you know what I'm talking about, to keep up with me. You know what I'm talking about at one time. You know what I'm talking about? I'll take you on all. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Oh, you're a fuck with the baby cuz, bro. But I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. That shit with no high octane, none of that shit. But they done told you this is what's going on. So you gonna run around here and act like that's some, like you just heard baby cuz or something, bro. No, nah, that shit ain't it. <laughs> it ain't. But what do I know? Only you. To prevent forest fires, man. And with that one right there, if you don't remember nothing else, always remember, man. It don't cost nothing. You know what I'm talking about? Just to show a little bit of that love.